I have friends who like you look at them and you wouldn't expect what they have down there. Hey, what's up guys? It's Finn and Ty. I'm Finn. I'm Ty. And today we're going to play a little game. We have guest stars. You want to introduce the guest stars? What? Y'all say your name, your pronouns, and how you identify. What order? You, you can go first. Ah, okay. Hi, I'm Chloe, and my pronouns are they, them, or she, her, but like they, them. And then my, what was the last one? Identity. Oh, like, am I gay or like, is that what you Just mean? however you're... I'm bi, okay. But like, I like girls a lot. It's mostly girls. <laughs> Abby's turn. Here you go. <laughs> my name's Abby. <laughs> she, her True. pronouns, and I call myself bi. I'm Sydney, she, her pronouns, and I am pansexual. Okay, so we're gonna play a game. Ty, you wanna, you wanna introduce the game? Is so, we're gonna, okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna ask them questions or tell, like, say terms that are trans related and see how much they think they know or don't know. Okay, so the first one would be FTM female to male. I know that. You agree? Female to male. You got it right. Correct. That's a correct answer. <laughs> Everyone one gets a point. Yay. Frank Ferger to Mars of Pan. It used to confuse me the most whenever I was like looking. I was like, what does this mean? Which which direction is it going? I don't know why. Do you guys know what MTF is though? Probably. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yes. Can, now that you know one, you, you got the other. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so you want to do the next one? Yeah. And then you can't look around. down. Oh, oh um, down. there's no definitions. Oh, okay. So. Never mind. Okay. T. Testosterone. Testosterone. Correct. And another point for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, I'm going for a hard one. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. Um, let's see. Keyhole. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta guess. <laughs> Keyhole. Yeah. I'll repeat can the I term. Give, can I give hints from off camera? No. No. <laughs> idea of what that means. Okay. Me? Mm -hmm. Um, the kind of, um, the style of surgery. One of the surgeries, I don't know if it's top or bottom. Okay. Club? Is it? It's not... I don't know this one and I'm upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it, like, something to do with, like, binders or something? I mean, you're in the right field of mm -hmm. action. No, Courtney. Let's my girlfriend off camera. She knows too much. She's not allowed to play. <laughs> Can I get it? Can I say it if they get it wrong? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take an L on that one. Sydney's the closest. Um, so it is a type of surgery, and it does regard the upper half of your body. Um, it, it's it's a method of top surgery. Is all it is. Oh. You're right. Okay. Okay. Wait, I do know what that means. <laughs> now, because we told you. <laughs> no, I mean like you're in I, I read an article about it. I were like right. I never remember. You're in all right. Wait, hey, quiz them. What's the other very popular alternative to keyhole? Mastectomy. I am mm. a dance major. <laughs> I don't know these things. Do you know? No. This is the most pop <laughs> the most popular. It's not mastectomy. Vestomy. Well, the entire thing <laughs> is a, a <laughs> yeah. Mastectomy. I don't know. <laughs> Did you say vasectomy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's called a bilateral mastectomy. Because yeah. it's two. I know top. So that's all I got. Two. Commonly known as double, double incision. incision. Double incision. It's called bilateral. Okay. Isn't the keyhole like right underneath? Okay. Oh my god. Off. Okay. I thought of that and then I was like, I'm going to be wrong. Rats. Okay. Yeah. And then Perry. You didn't even finish it. <laughs> Areola. Um, Areola. I, I, I say it wrong if I add the other one. Say it one more time. Perry. No, no, the full one. Perry Ariola. Yeah. Perry Ariola. Your turn. You gotta. Wait, that's. Is that's that, the term. That's the term. Oh! <laughs> that's the. It's. Is that not the. Like the surgery with. Like where you into, and do the cutting right underneath, like. The main bit? Main bit? Close. To try and, like, keep the bits. Um. <laughs> that I'm, gonna, I'm gonna venture a guess that it's. Putting the nipple back on after the um, mastectomy has been completed. It's like re it, like making it look like a nipple. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's basically where the incision is literally around the nipple. Yeah. So that when you they put the nipple back on, you know, in theory you'd have less scars, but most of the time you'd have no scars really? or yeah. it'd be covered up. Yeah. By like the only the scar that area. you could have would be on your nipple, but since your nipple is already a darker color, yeah. you don't see it unless you're like <laughs> looking for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Next. How about uh, GC2B? That's a binding company. Binding company. Good job. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm wearing one. Me <laughs> too. I got a new one today. <laughs> okay. Um, underworks. Oh, okay. Yes. Isn't that another? That's, that's not a binding company. It's a packing. That's like an underwear like packing company. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go. Um, I would say that it would make either one. Anything that goes like under the clothes to give a more male presentation. Okay. <laughs> Technically speaking, it is mostly shirts, but it does both. But it is traditionally for cis males, but they also have bras for females kind of thing. It's not, it's not, it's for, not trans for trans people. people specifically, but a lot of trans people um, use their binders. Yeah. So it's like for cis males to like whenever they have like man titties. Basically. Okay. That's the idea. <laughs> or we have man moves. 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 Stealth. I learned this one recently. It's whenever like you like I guess you would are appear masculine enough to where people don't question like what you are. Passing completely without question. Is that your I agree? Yeah. That's my I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, like, you guys I think are close, right. but stealth would be to where you do not reveal your trans identity. Like uh, you uh, have so sense. much that you like that people won't question you. Well, so you just don't question. question. Yes, no. but like you guys, but like people in your life you're may not necessarily trans. know that you're trans. Like it would be easy to be stealth at work, for example, but you mm -hmm. can't be stealth with your family because like you know, kind of there <laughs> when you were born, kind of thing. Yeah, most of the time, but. Okay, so how about Mr. Limpy? <laughs> that sounds like a dildo company, <laughs> but like packing company, or like a model of a packer. Maybe I think that sounds right. I agree. <laughs> I, I agree. Second bad motion. I think it's a packer. Okay. It's usually. How I would describe it is like the first packer that most trans Baby's men first packer. <laughs> that's, that's the one I got mine. It's Baby's first. first. <laughs> because it's so, it's super affordable for like, one. Because like usually you're not sure if you, like it's right. Even if you know you want one, you're like, but what if I don't like it? So you get the cheap one, and it's pretty great. Does it come in a box that say it's a boy? <laughs> <laughs> I would cry. Sponsor us. I would Hire cry. me, Mr. Lumpy. <laughs> I will make those boxes. He's you're a good designer. At I will cry. Okay. Do you want to go? Dr. Garamoni. Dr. what? Dr. Garamoni. A doctor who does the surgeries? <laughs> the first doctor who ever did a transition surgery. Oh. Why is your chin twitching? My chin's twitching? Yeah, I'm so stressed out now. Okay, Dr. Garamoni is... I don't know why. But he's one of the most famous surgeons in the because he's in Florida, so maybe that's oh. why we know him more. But ty there. typically, just like I he, hear about he, him does, a lot he more. just does top surgery. Yeah, top surgery. Um, and all his results are good, so I guess that's why he's heard of. Okay, makes sense. I mean, I've seen him. The the results yeah. are good. Yeah, pretty top. That was a good <laughs> top <surgery>. notch. <laughs> I gotta um, get my mom's calling. <laughs> Okay, how about penguin? <laughs> I don't know. The villain from Batman? <laughs> a true trans um, icon. A um, true a penguin. Like a purposely small dick packer. <laughs> <laughs> is um, not commonly, but trans guys can call that their time of the month instead of, well, the time of the month. I don't know 
Basically, honestly, Ryan Casada did it once in a. In one I can't give this one guy did this one time. Yeah, and all the trans guys were like, "All right, that's fine. We'll yeah. use that." So yeah, it's one. just. I don't know. Yeah. I like it. It's funny. Yeah, it's better than anything else that actually has something to do with what I we're agree. actually talking about. So. Okay, so here's one that we like totally skip the easy ones. Uh, dysphoria. Whenever you're uncomfortable in your own skin. Um, same. <laughs> yes. You're that. correct, but the actual technical term would be when, like, the distress that you get, it's it's especially like when your uh, sex doesn't match your gender kind of thing. It's, it's not a fun trans thing. related. And it can be, like, mental and physical. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people just think, like, oh, you just have. You're just sad about it, like it, it's like a feeling like yeah. sadness, but like it can be like a physical like pain, mm -hmm. um, which a lot of people don't. It's not know. a fun thing. Metoidioplasty. This is a surgery. You are on the right <laughs> track. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, I would say building the male genitalia, the penis and testicles. A bottom surgery, I guess. Okay. It is. Before we answer, okay. I want to do two more. Okay. That are oh. very similar. What about meta? What? That's what. Meta? That's meta. I know that one. <laughs> like, whenever you're reading a book and then talk about things in real life, how does this have to do with trans people? <laughs> <laughs> um, meta, like lower meta, um, is when they use pretty much like what you already have down there, like, to kind of build the penis. Like, I know that sometimes they kind of, the hormones will make, like the, clit, <laughs> like the clit become engorged, yeah, and they can like that. lengthen it. Um, I knew that. It's basically the <laughs> less invasive <laughs> bottom that. surgery. Okay. And phalloplasty. I know that one. Sorry. Dick surgery. When they build it out of skin that they graft from another part of your it's body. It's normally the forearm and the butt, and there's a couple other spots. I okay. knew that one. Can all you right. guys all tell me the like the differences between those three? Can you try? Well, okay. the last one is the graphing, and like it's yeah. like just yeah. the skin, and, and then the second one's like building blocks off of what okay. you got, and the first one is it as a whole. I would say plastic, like just it just is. sticking stuff in there. Hi, this no. is my robotic dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the answers are one and two are the same. Meta is short for. Metoidoplasty. And we didn't do fallow, but that's also short for phalloplasty, obviously. Yeah. Well, because like, that one is it's more very obvious. It more obvious. Mot Metoidoplasty typically um, uses what you got by. Snip, re snip. Yeah, right, by releasing a membrane and, like. It's, yeah. Uh, I don't want to go into detail, we can do a video for that later. Yeah. But, and then fallow typically has a donor site and you make it. Mm -hmm. That's but, the differences. And metoidoplasty is more, um, can be typically more simple in the amount of surgeries you have to get, mm -hmm. kind of thing. There's a whole another chapter for another video, but, <laughs> but, there's bottom surgeries, and it's confusing because meta and met met metoidoplasty are like the same thing, but like, hmm, we're almost out of stuff. Oh, hmm, what's the one that you got today, dude? STP. Stand to pee. Good job! <laughs> she was confident in that one! <laughs> the thing that you can use to stand while you pee. <laughs> That's so nice. Someone has one. Oh, one more, one more. Okay, out. what stage one? Oh! What is stage one? Or two, or three. Like, Do you know any, of the, light. any of the stages? It's, it's motion activated. Um, yeah, stage it, it does one. It's really annoying. It's the first battle with your first trainer where you finally decide to be who you want to be. I like that. I like that. Good. I like that. I like that definition. Let's throw like, out the real one and use that one. one. Like stage one. Stage or one. Cancer. Like stages. Uh, <laughs> stage See, one. I didn't want to say uh, that. Would stage one be like I just the suck. first, the first surgery? Like, uh, is that like sur? Um, usually that would be like the first um top. Wouldn't it? You get one removed. You're close. First stage bottom. one is the first stage of, realizing of you're trans? bottom surgery. Oh, oh, oh. specifically fallow. Fallow, oh. yeah. Fallow especially has 100,000 stages. Right, yeah. And is. with each surgeon, it's the stages are different. different. And it's kind of weird. Bye bye! bye. bye. From, From Finn and Ty!